Greetings! Welcome to Saint of the Week, the show where we choose one saint's feast day from this week and discuss their life and their impact on the church. The saint for this week is Saint Cyril of Alexandria, whose feast day is June 27th, this Wednesday. Cyril was born around the year 376 in Dudusea, Egypt, which is modern-day El Mahala El Kubra. Little is known about his childhood, but he did receive a good education. His uncle, Theophilus, was Patriarch of Alexandria, and after his death in 412, Cyril inherited the position. Cyril was impulsive and fiery, with a zeal that led him to be harsh towards heretics and non-believers. He pillaged and closed the churches of the heretical Novatians, and in retaliation to their attacks on Christians, he drove the Jews out of Alexandria altogether. He frequently came to conflict with Orestes, the Roman prefect, who believed that Cyril was encroaching on secular matters. After many disagreements, Cyril finally attempted to reconcile with Orestes, but to no avail. Some Christians blamed Orestes' unwillingness to compromise on his close relationship with Hypatia, a pagan mathematician and philosopher. And so, when she was murdered by an angry mob, some accused Cyril of being responsible, although no proof exists. Cyril also came into conflict with other Christians on theological matters. For instance, a man named Nestorius taught that Jesus was not both fully man and fully God. He said that Jesus' human body was only a temple for his divinity, and that the two natures were not one. Cyril firmly opposed this, and the two began a correspondence that became more and more heated with time. Finally, Emperor Theodosius II assembled the Council of Ephesus in 531 to settle the dispute. Cyril condemned Nestorius and proclaimed that the Virgin Mary was indeed the God-bearer, mother of the one person, both fully human and fully divine. However, in the event that his supporters didn't arrive in time, Nestorius refused to attend the council in the first place. And when his followers did arrive, they held their own council, in which they accused Cyril of heresy, labeled him a monster, and deposed him from his seat as bishop. Emperor Theodosius annulled the council's verdict and arrested both Cyril and Nestorius, but eventually they were both released, Cyril being allowed to return to his diocese and Nestorius retiring at Antioch. Cyril wrote many other discourses, letters, and sermons before his death in June of 444, when he was about 68 years old, having ruled his episcopate for nearly 32 years. He is a patron saint of Alexandria. Cyril is proof of the fact that, contrary to what we might believe, the saints were not perfect. They were sinners just like everyone else, and Cyril displays this through his impulsiveness as well as being stubborn and harsh. But even if his skills and diplomacy were lacking, the soundness of his theology cannot be disputed. His defense of the church's teaching on the nature of Christ is his greatest legacy, and it has earned them the honors of Church Father and Doctor of the Church. Saint Cyril of Alexandria, pray for us. Our honorable mentions for this week are Saint Amphibolus, Saint Prosper of Aquitaine, Saint Vigilius of Trent, Saint Paul I, Saint Mary Salome, and Blessed Gennaro Sarnelli. And of course, there are thousands of other saints who undoubtedly have their feast days this week, but there are so many of them that there is no way we could list them all here. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Saint of the Week. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Peace, Peace be to you. you.